Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to determine the modulus of subgrade reaction because it is the most important parameter which is used for the payment design as well as for the building design. So for that plate load test is conducted on field and from this test data we will determine the K value as per IS 9214-1979. Now what is K? Here K is the modulus of subgrade reaction. Ok so these are the main points that we are going to discuss today and the first one is definition then method of testing and equipment analysis. After that we will see factor affecting correction as well as calculation and the last one is conclusion. Now let's understand what is modulus of subgrade reaction. It is the reaction pressure sustained by the soil sample under a rigid plate of standard diameter per unit settlement measured at a specified settlement or pressure. Which means when load is applied on a surface that time we can see some amount of deflection due to that load. As you can see here in the diagram there is some amount of deflection occurs due to that wheel load but after some time the surface will come into their original position and that resistance of load is called as modulus of subgrade reaction. Now modulus of subgrade reaction is expressed as pressure upon deflection but for IRC 58 K value should be measured at 1.25 mm settlement hence the equation will become like this K is equals to P open 0.125 and the unit is kilogram per centimeter cube. Ok now we will see how to calculate the modulus of subgrade reaction. So for that plate load test is conducted on site and the plate load test is originally meant to find the modulus of subgrade reaction for wheel load stresses in the pavement. Now we will see the procedure of plate load test as per IS code 9214-1974. To perform this test we need different types of equipment first we need is a loading frame and here we have used truck as a loading frame and the load capacity of truck should be greater than 25 ton. Next we need a hydraulic jack. After that we will require bearing plates of different sizes. The first one is 75 cm diameter and then 60 cm diameter and the last one is 45 cm diameter and the thickness of the plate is 2.5 cm. Next we need 3 dial gauges with magnetic stand to measure the settlement. Now let's begin the procedure as per IR score. First, sand is placed on the ground to level the surface below the bearing plates. After that, three circular plates of different diameters are placed on the level surface. And then, we have placed the hydraulic jack on the bearing plates. As you can see here, about the hydraulic jack, we have also added some weights to increase the height up to the loading frame. Thereafter, we have attached the three dial gauges on the bearing plates at an angle of 120 degree to measure the settlement. After that we will apply a sitting load of 7 kN per meter square to make the soil even from the surface then applied load is released after a few seconds and readings are set to 0 on dial gauges then actual loads are applied. Now apply a sufficient load to cause a settlement of 0.25 mm and wait till the settlement is less than 0.025 mm per minute. After that note the readings in 3 dial gauges and corresponding load in hydraulic pressure dial gauge. Next, another load is applied to cause an additional settlement of 0.25 mm and record the deflection and load again. And this procedure is repeated till the settlement is about 1.75 mm or more. Now if you look at this table, so this is the test data that we have obtained after the completion of plate load test. First we have applied 3.10 kN of load and waited for 15 minutes. After that we have noted readings in 3 dial gauges. Lastly average is taken and at this applied load settlement was 0. Next we have applied 34.1 kN of load and again we have noted the readings and the settlement was 0.51 mm. Likewise we have applied different loads till the settlement reached to 1.75 mm or more. And when we have applied 94.1 kN of load, that time the settlement was 2.03 mm. As you can see here, the settlement was above 1.75 mm. 
Next, the graph is plotted between applied load versus settlement, but as per IRC 58, the K value should be measured at 1.25 mm settlement. Hence, at 1.25 mm settlement, the value of load is 1.73 kg per centimeter square. Therefore, the value of K is equals to 1.73 divided by 0.125 and that is equals to 13.84 kg per centimeter cube. Okay, so we have determined the K value from the plate load test data. Now apply a corrections. The first correction is for plate size and if the plate size is less than 75 cm then apply a correction for plate size. Otherwise, take Kp is equals to 1. Hence, K is equals to 13.84 kg per cm cube. Now, the second correction is for bending of plate which is given in IS9214 from the figure number 5. So from this graph you can find out the corrected K value. Now let's find out. Here we have uncorrected K value which is 13.84 kg per centimeter cube. Hence from this we will get the corrected value and it is 11.27 kg per centimeter cube after the correction. Ok now final correction is for saturation. This correction should be applied on the basis of consolidation test on the subgrade material. So for that take two samples of the undisturbed subgrade material for consolidation test to find the corrected value and here Ks is equals to 0.8 which is obtained from the consolidation test result. Therefore our K value will be 9.02 kg per centimeter cube. So this is how you can calculate the modulus of subgrade reaction and you can use this K value in the design of payments as well as in the design of building foundation. I hope now it is clear but if you have any doubts or any questions regarding this then you can ask me in comment section below and thank you so much for watching this video.